Proverbs 7 is another chapter of guidance for the young in life and in faith. But of course, we can all benefit from the wisdom given in these verses. This chapter deals with the importance of purity and the devastating consequences when we fail to remain pure according to God's design for life. Verses 1 through 3 of the New King James Version reads, My son, keep my words and treasure my commands within you. Keep my commands and live, and my law as the apple of your eye. Bind them on your fingers, write them on the tablet of your heart. To treasure something means to protect it, to cherish it, to keep it safe. We're told to keep God's law as the apple of our eye. This familiar phrase refers to the pupil of the eye, which people long ago believed was shaped as a sphere like an apple. We protect our eyes because they're valuable to us. And so should we honor and protect God's word by obeying it. Verse three in the New Living tells us to take God's instructions and tie them around our fingers as a reminder. Write them deep within your heart. Come back to God's word constantly. Carry it with you everywhere you go. Commit yourself to it. And over time, you'll find that it becomes a part of you written deep within your heart. The rest of this proverb gives some vivid details of the enticing and cunning power of sin that is ever present in this fallen world. In the final verses of this chapter, words like trap, snare, ruin, victim, grave, and death describe the consequences of sin when we allow it to lead us astray. As you read this proverb, today. Remember that purity, inward and outward, are of the utmost importance to the Lord. Not because he's a celestial killjoy, but because he knows the ultimate consequences of sin and he knows the vulnerability of our hearts. So keep your way pure before the Lord. Keep his word with you always and experience the life-giving power that will grow in your heart by his spirit. Thank you.